different Bitbucket accounts here. And so we're going to just click on new here. And what we do is add the name of the uh, repository. So for instance, the uh, target typically is what we would suggest adding the name for. So if you're going to have uh, deployment client one, and you specify the type, whether you're going to go for Bitbucket or for Git, let's select Bitbucket in this case. And here's where you put the URL. So you can see here we've added the URL in, user1 at bitbucket.org. And what you do at the end is just chop off the .git to have an accurate system. At this point, you'd click Save. And as you can see, this is what would result once you do a successful authentication with OAuth for Bitbucket. So again, you're saving the URL, and the access tokens get saved automatically. And this means that you now have a successful and valid OAuthentication to your version control.